Hello today and we're going to do a little review on the Joy USB adapter. Joy USB. So what this is, as you can see, your USB one end and a DB9 connector one end, the other end rather. So what this little device does, just say you've got in possession an old joystick like this uh, or like that or whatever you've got with one of these connections um, you put it in here and it connects to USB so you can um, use one of these old joysticks on your PC if you want to play like emulated old games like Commodore 64 ZX Spectrum, um, Amstrad CPC, Commodore Amiga, etc, etc, um, even supports, um, obviously these were originally for the Atari 2600, or the formerly known when it first came out, the Atari VCS, so these was the standard. Um, I'm, I'm sh not sure, I'm obviously every single controller has not been tested with this according to the manufacturer but I'm, I'm only assuming it can it can support um, multi fire buttons as well so not a single obviously it looked like you've got four but it says well by looking at that it does say you can see it's got four fire buttons but all these fire buttons act as one fire button um, they're all the same same with this and the same with a lot of joysticks from the 1980s um, there weren't individual fire buttons they're all the same um, I have tested it this one I've tested the Cheetah 125 plus which was one of my favorite joysticks back in the day so I am so happy I can play my old emulated games with this joystick um, just popping it in there and connect it to USB is a great thing to do because I have got a retro style joystick based on the Competition Pro but um, we'll just put it here. here it is I have done a review on it I've, I've done a review on all these joysticks actually um, yeah I mean it feels very retro itself these four, it's got four fire buttons, but they all work individually. Obviously, being a newer sort of joystick, but it's so loud. The micro switches, obviously, this is USB. But I don't need to use this anymore. Thanks to this, I can use any old joysticks, which is great. This one doesn't make too much noise at all, but when I continue playing doing reviews and stuff I can continue with either that or that even though that one makes a little bit more noise but this one don't make as much noise as this so that'd be good so I have, as I said I've tested it I've tested it on um, um, the Amstrad CPC emulator Win UAE no Win UAE that's the Amiga emulator and I've tested it on that and that works WinApe is the Amstrad emulator, I've tested it on that, that works. WinVice on the Commodore 64 emulator, that works. And CCS64, also another Commodore 64 emulator, that works. So I have so far tested it on them emulators. But I'm only assuming it'll work with every single emulator. Um, but yeah, it is a great little device to have. Right. I've got them um, plugged into the USB there with the joystick connected, which is here. Um, I have got an emulator up and running, which is the um, WinApe. And just to test it, we've got the joystick here, and I'm going about to move it. So, as you can see, it works no problem. So that's great. Right, I've got another emulator open. This is the CCS64 on the Commodore 64 emulator. 
So the first thing we always have to do when we start this emulator is um, calibrate the joystick. So watch there, as you can see. Here we go. So we can see that's working. So it works with CCS64. Just to give you a demonstration, I'm not going to go through every single emulator. So if it works with the Commodore 64, and it works with the Amstrad CPCs emulator, it's going to work with everything. As I did a test with the Amiga emulator, works. Um, um, Winvice, another Commodore 64 emulator, that works too. I'm sure it'll work with other emulators too, because it's just basically like plugging a standard joystick in. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.